Hello everybody, welcome to my how to nickel plate and then how to copper plate a Zippo video. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, share, anything you do does help. And I am going to be giving this Zippo away and the only way you can win this Zippo is to be a Patreon member, there's the link. I have a lot of good members, so on with the video. The lid. I gave this an acid bath beforehand, it also works as an activator for the solution. Gotta keep her moving around. You don't want her to get uh, too hung up on one spot. Gotta turn it. Want it to plate everywhere. Turn it around. And don't be afraid to move it around. And I'll come back to you. This is going to happen for a bit, and I'll come back to you. All right, everybody. It's been in there for a while now, a few minutes. I've been holding it here. I didn't actually keep track. I'm just looking for what I need to be looking for. And uh, I don't know. It's looking pretty good. Let's take a look here and see what we got. Hold her up for the camera. Look at that. My hook also all got nickel plated also. Let's see how she looks. Ooh. That nickel plated well. Obviously some some things I need to work on, but look, it's almost mirror finish in there. You can almost see me in there. I'm going to polish that up and clean it up. It'll probably look better once I touch it, but uh, wow, that whole thing's done, man. It looks really good. That looks really good. I'm impressed. All right, so now... Now we move on to the next piece. And the next piece is a little bigger, so I'm going to adjust the hook a little longer so I don't drop it. Alright. <clears throat> I like to give it just a little wipe down with uh, some rubbing alcohol before I put it into. It just keeps her safe. And we'll drop her in. And uh, very important just to keep moving. And when you first get her in there, keep moving. Make sure she gets covered. And I also didn't anticipate having the air pocket in the Zippo when I dunked it in upside down. But it will be what it is. So I'm just going to dunk this for a while here, guys. Uh, probably going to take me a little bit longer because it is a bigger piece and I might up the voltage a little bit. We will see. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and stir this and hold this and keep changing its sides. And uh, we'll get back to you when I pull her out. Hey everybody, check this out. So now this is the case. I've only been doing it for a few minutes, but I think this is long enough. It uh, it looks great. It looks great. It's got that high reflection. I do got some staining or whatever that is there. Uh, I'll have to see if I can polish that out or what I can do about it, but the nickel plating was a success. It went on very well. Uh, this is pretty cool. And like I said, this is only the first thing I ever did, so it'll get better as we go. Uh, I think that might have been, I think what happened here was the acid wash I had gave the metal before I put it in. 
I think it stained it there and gave it that, but I can I can probably buff that. It's just nickel at the end of the day. So we're gonna see about that. I'll get back to you in a second here. I'm gonna play with this and uh, we'll see what I can do. So this is the final product. This is what the Zippo looks like. Uh, it is reflective, like you can see it's still like mirror polish. And I haven't done anything to it, like that's just the mirror polish that was under it. But what happened was I think I should have never gave it that acid bath because that's exactly where it changed color with the acid. Uh, but you are supposed to give it like an acid bath and an ask, acts as an activator and helps the nickel stick. And it probably did help it stick, but I think it caused that blotchiness. But it's also rippled too, but I don't know. It it did it fine up here and stuff, so like I don't know what to say. It it does look great though. Like I, I'm happy with the results. I'm definitely going to keep moving forward and then go to the copper plate. There's going to be some blotchiness, but whatever. It'll be an antique copper finish. I'm happy with that. I don't care. Uh, it looks really good, and for my first ever one, I think it uh, it looks really good, and I know a lot of mistakes where I went wrong, and I know where I'm going to be able to move forward on these things and uh, keep it going and just keep getting better and better, and uh, just honing in my craft and working on my skill, but even that's still pretty cool, but that blotchiness there, though, I know, you could see it, there's some blotchiness, but whatever doesn't matter I don't know if I could buff that out or whatever I haven't tried to do anything to it yet but even if it's still completely smooth it's not like you can feel that uh, stained area but the next one I do I probably won't give it the acid bath I'll just use uh, rubbing alcohol like I was gonna it's what I should have did but I used a little acid a little sulfuric acid that's what it says you're supposed to do but oh well you live you learn right but it's still pretty good, and that's how you nickel plate a Zippo, guys. And uh, that was my first ever time doing it, so uh, we'll see how the next one goes, and if it gets better and better, and I don't know, far away it doesn't look that bad, eh? <laughs> but uh, it's pretty good. I don't know. I'm happy with it. That was pretty sweet. All right, guys. Next is uh, going to be copper plating this. All right, everybody. Sorry about that. I forgot to film me uh, putting the lid in. Uh, I just, I don't know, I started doing it, I forgot to set up the camera. So, this is the copper plating, I switched over, I switched over liquids, and I'm just copper plating the nickel plated lid, uh, the other piece is still down here, you can see, that's the piece I nickel plated already of the custom zip. I'm just going through some trials and errors and learning some things as we go, guys. Uh, my nickel plating was already a little blotchy because of what I did to it. I should have never gave it the acid bath, but you live, you learn. I'll do it next time. I still think it looks good. I still think it's going to look good with the copper plating. And I'm hoping to bring this out tonight. <laughs> Get this all ready and uh, go show her off. Definitely a, an original one of a kind. Uh, I could see already that the lid is coppered to friggin' heck. This copper plating solution works really well, and so does my nickel plating solution. It worked really well. Everything sticks really fast, really well. Uh, but, uh, like I said, you gotta be aware of how you prep your things before you put them in. I wish I just would have did it the same as I did that shell case and it would have came out a beautiful mirror finish. But it, like I said, I'm not sanding it all off and doing it all over again. So it is what it is. The next one will be better. But as the copper plate goes on, we just keep letting her go here. I'll give you guys a sneak peek. Look at that. You know what? It almost makes up. It almost makes up for that nickel, eh, guys? Almost makes up for that nickel. Okay, I'm going to be plating this for a while because uh, the copper plating you want a nice thick coat on. So I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys, I'm getting ready to pull out the copper here. And uh, let's take a look how she turned out. Oh, man. That is awesome. That is, uh, that is pretty amazing. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. Oh, you guys can't even see. Oh, wow. Like, I don't know if this light does it any justice in this camera, but it looks 
pretty damn sweet. So I'm gonna let that sit, and uh, we're gonna drop in. We're gonna drop in the in the case now. So I'll say goodbye to the nickel case and say hello to a nice new copper one. And you guys got to watch too because there's an air bubble in the Zippo if you put it in upside down and then it's got to tilt and then fall back on your pin. It's not a big deal but it does happen. Don't be spooked and don't drop it. And you just got to move it around to get an even coat all at the beginning or else it's not going to play to everything very well. So you just move it around and make sure it's going all around the case and it's going to get it all. And don't touch the other one with the other one. And it doesn't matter if you do but just try not to. All right, guys, so I'm going to keep this here for a while, and I'll come back to you with the finished product. All right, everybody, we're ready for the last little bit of copper here to come out. I'm just waiting for the last uh, spinner to do. Like I said, you got to just keep moving it around, making sure it's getting all the sides evenly, flipping it over, especially when you're using a jar as small as mine, right? Uh, but let's take a look how she... How she looks. Oof. That's pretty sweet. Man, I'm impressed with that. That looks nice. It looks dark on here or whatever, but you can see it's still a mirror finish, still a copper mirror finish. You can see the reflection, but there is that little bit of burn you are seeing through. But I'm fine with that. This is my antique car. This is my antique copper right here, babe. Oh, love this thing. And I'm gonna be doing the, oh, there's no insert in here to hold it together. I'm trying to make you guys see what it would look like. But uh, you also do have to wipe this to get that nice copper look. So I'm gonna go wipe this and I'll be right back uh, to show you the final. And I'll put an insert All in. All right, everybody. I was cleaning up and I was putting things away and I, <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to put an insert in here. I had to put the pin back in the hinge and I had to get her going. I just, I had to, I had no choice. I'm carrying this thing around, man. I, <laughs> I love this thing. This thing looks so cool. And I just love that high polished. Like I said, I just love that high polished copper, man. I just, I'm loving it. I just love this Zippo. I love the design. I love the feel. I love the grip. I love the ripples. I love everything about it. The only thing I wish is I would have plated the nickel just a little better. Would have had just that little better mirror finish. You could see there's some spots. So the copper is going to take on that too. But other than that, like I... For my first time, this is impressive. This came out very, very well. Like I said, you can see me in it. You can see everything. Uh, it's, it is reflective, mirror reflective, right? So you can make out every detail in my Benedict ring. I love this, man. This Zippo is awesome. Thanks, everyone, for being along the journey with me. And I hope everyone likes it. I hope everyone thinks this is cool. And uh, they're only going to get better from here and better plating and... Uh, I'm just working on it and I'm getting an old down pat. And for my first one, I've seen other experiments go way worse than this. This is probably one of the nicer first tries I've ever seen. Uh, I'm loving this, guys. And I hope you guys really do too. And uh, I can't wait to give this away to one of my subscribers uh, who's a Patreon member. Uh, one of you is going to be a very, very happy boy or girl. And uh, thanks for bringing me along the way, guys. And uh, I'm going to show you the video on how to do an insert too. That's going to be coming up soon too. So... Uh, everyone enjoy. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a part of this. I hope everyone likes this custom Zippo I built. All right, take care.